Hi, everyone. We have author Teresa Burns here, and she's going to let us know a little bit about herself. Hi, guys. Well, my name is Teresa, and I'm originally born and raised from Pittsburgh, and I currently reside in the DMV area. I am from Maryland now. So I'm a Marylander. It's official. I've lived here for about, it'll be four and a half going on five years this year in June, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, that's a bit about my background. <laughs> yes, well, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. And how long have you been writing? Honestly, I have always found writing therapeutic for me ever since I were younger. I have my bachelor's in psychology and I have two master's degrees. However, God is amazing. So <laughs> he kind of shifted this around for me, okay? In 2015, he told me that I were not going to pursue certain things and that I were actually going to be a writer. And I was like, are you playing? Yeah. So he's not playing. And I allowed it to lie dormant for a while just because of I had to push past the fear. I had to push past the insecurity. I had to push past all of the not negativity, because I didn't receive that from anyone, but it was just me getting my own way. And I had to just operate in faith and activate that. And here we are today. So, of course, when something tragic happens to you within your life, it always gives you the opportunity to birth something. And I always tell people, there's always life after death. And what inspired me to write my book were the fact that I lost my father a few years ago. And that actually just pushed me to finally do it. Just step out in faith and finally do it. I've always loved working with children. I have an extensive background in mental and behavioral health. I've been in the profession for 10 plus years. And of course, without a license, there's only but so much you can do within this profession in general. So being a case manager and being able to assist my families, even up until this current day and moments, it's a blessing. But, you know, the reward doesn't come in the financial aspect of it, again, without that licensure. <laughs> so... Yeah. Okay. So tell us about your children's book. Well, I have it here. The name of my book is called My Dad is an Angel and you can purchase it via Amazon currently. I'm going to hopefully expand the level of distribution to other outlets as well, but that'll come with time. As of now, my expanded distribution is on an active via Amazon. So you can purchase it in the UK, you can purchase it in Japan, and yes, it's there. But my book is to help those who have lost a loved one, and I know especially now with COVID and people losing all of their loved ones due to COVID or whatever the case may be, this is my own personal testimony, and I wanted children to know that it's okay and that there is a savior and that God is always with us, but he also leaves angels to help us and guide us along the way. So my father is literally my guardian angel, one of them now. So yes. <laughs> Amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. And you're self-published, right? Yes, I am. How was that journey for you? You know what? It was rewarding. It has, it, it definitely had its ups and downs, but I've had a great support system. Like I've had really, really great friends who have helped me and they've pushed me and they've elevated me in addition to my family. So it really wasn't as bad, but you live and you learn. <laughs> and then, I mean, that comes with the territory with anything in life, right? So yes. I would do it again. I really won't. Well, I will, because I have other books that will be published and released eventually, hopefully sometime this year. Is this book going to be in a series? <laughs> Not this one in particular, but okay. another one that I have that's catered toward the mental and behavioral health sector. So I have a extensive background in working with children who have autism. And that originally was supposed to be my first book. Okay. I kid you not. And I thought about that book years ago and it was just like, okay, nope. God was like, okay, nope, this is it. My dad is an angel. Yes. Is <laughs> and how long did it take you to finish writing? Again, God gets all the glory. I woke up with the title of the book. Okay. In June. And I wrote it that day, the very same day. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. And what ages um, is this book good for? 
It's for, I originally wanted it to be for children ages eight and up. However, the target audience is so extensive. So it is also for those who are younger. So five and up okay. will definitely benefit from this book. And tell us where we can find you on social media. You can find me via Facebook. And my name is Teresa Burns without the H. So it's T-E-R-E-S-A. Last name is Burns B. U R N S and via IG, I can be located at this name T as in Tom, M as in Mary, two B's as in boy, boy 84. Thank you. And is there anything else that you would like to tell us about your book? <laughs> Purchase it. <laughs> <laughs> No, just allow my book to speak to you in the way that God has spoken to me throughout all of my years. And I really pray because this is my own personal testimony. And again, many can benefit from it no matter what age you are, because loss and grievance, of course, comes in various stages. And you never know. You never really know. So you love on people today because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. You know, so keep the faith and just know that. There's always a blessing in the midst of a quote unquote storm. Absolutely. When can we look out for book number two? Book number two will be released hopefully this year, um, this month. That's my game plan. I would like to have it out this month. And that book is actually something that's near and dear to my heart. It's a part of my testimony as well. And that title is It's Okay to Be Single. So, okay. yeah. This is an adult book. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be for both men and women. I originally wanted it to be mainly for women, but it was like, okay, it's kind of selfish. So <laughs> we're going to have to go ahead and broaden our horizons a little bit. So yes, but that book will definitely cater toward people who are single and just knowing that you can elevate in your singleness. Paul said it best in the Bible. Singleness is a gift, but you have to embrace it. There's nothing negative about being single. And there's a connotation behind that with, oh, you know, you're single. Why aren't you married at a certain age? Not everyone is supposed to be married. Right. Right. That's a sad reality, but it is a reality, you know, and you just learn other ways to connect with others and, you know, God has a interesting way of revealing what it is that he wants you to do. Absolutely. So. I'm excited about that one as well. <laughs> My passion will always be working with children, but I also enjoy encouraging and uplifting women. And how do you think being a writer has helped you as a person? Again, writing for me has always been therapeutic. I write in journals and I always have again, ever since I were younger. So for me, it's really not as challenging as many would perceive it to be because again, it's therapeutic. So it's relaxing and I get to jot down all of my thoughts. I get to jot down all of my emotions. And I just, I pretend that I'm actually, and I don't even pretend, but because I'm a Christian, I view it in the context of God reading everything. Okay you know, and he's with me during that, because if I don't have the right words to say or convey across, I know he sends the Holy Spirit, but at the same time, it's comfortable for me to write. I don't have issue with speaking, but sometimes, and it, it's a, it's secrecy behind me, you know, within it too. It's just, it's a compassion and it's like, okay, hey, it's fun because not everyone will see what you have written down. And yeah, it's amazing to reflect back, you know, <laughs> yes, definitely. Well, thank you, Miss Teresa, for joining me. Hold that book up one more time. Sure. So this is it. There's my dad as an angel. I love and it. I love the cover. Show the back. My book blurb. And I can also reveal one of my favorite pages in the book. I have two. There's so much in this book. Because my illustrator, he did a really great job. But... I love this page here and I'd read it, but I want you guys to go and purchase the book. <laughs> See how I just threw that in there. Yes. <laughs> and then one of my other favorite sections in it, one of the pages, the angel wings, definitely. That's beautiful. 
So yes, and then my dad with all of us, the family. So yeah. But thank you so much. You have a blessed evening. Okay? You too. Take thank care. You. Thank you. Bye bye. Everyone, that was author Teresa Burns telling us about her books. Make sure you go out and purchase a copy. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos below.